Last time on Valkyria Chronicles Remastered. I pray, where sleeps the ancient power? Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. So, um, I don't know why I said that in such a deep voice, but... <laughs> so, um, I do feel bad, because we got some new recruits, and apparently, uh, you can't get their voice dialogue again. I thought it would show up every time you recruit them, and I already kind of saved over it, so sadly, you can't hear their voice dialogue, and I'm sad about that. But, um, we got some new people. We got Edie, or Eddie, I'm not exactly sure how she wants her name to be said, but doesn't really matter. She's country bred, a born leader, and she's panicky. Charging into the face of enemy fire makes them panic, decreasing attack power. I like her design, though. So I've added, I'm looking to add a few more people. Uh, I'm trying to think of who's new. I don't know if you guys saw Alex. I think we did. But um, I do need another Lancer because I took one out. So I think what I'm going to do here. I don't know. Let's add Hector. He looks pretty My cool. My Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. There we go. I'm not really going to do any more management of soldiers at the moment. So, we do have a bit to do before we go into what is the mission I quit on, and what I've been told is one of the hardest missions in the game. First things first, we have to go to Castlefront Street. Hey! Dropping by to... Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. So, she actually has a lot of new stuff we haven't seen before. And I think we can still buy more of her books or whatever she wants us to buy. Imperial Shadow hits Barius. Barius. Central Gallian Command reported on the 15th that the militia had encountered and routed a contingent of Imperials stationed at Barius, the culmination of a clandestine investigation into reported Imperial activity in the area. The Badlands' topography is poorly suited to combat maneuvers, and the region holds little to no strategic value, making the Empire's goal there unclear. One theory suggests that the desert region is home to, a, to an as-yet unmined load, and that Imperial forces were stationed there for the purpose of Ragnite speculation. Gallia Federation talks begin. During a press session on the 10th, Gallian Prime Minister Borg <laughs> called for talks with Federation Ambassador Townshed. Town Townshend? Slated to visit Gallia at the end of the month. In light of the increasingly complex conflict between the Federation and Empire, however, many suspect the Federation views this as a chance to acquire Gallia for its resources. This announcement has been met with vehement opposition from members of the Parliament with strong ties to the former Imperial cartels. Ambassador Townshend... I hate that name. Townshend? It, it sounds like it should be like Townsend, but it's Shend. Responded to invite in a public address, stating that he firmly believes that joining hands to thwart the Empire's hubristic ambitions is essential to assuring peace for Europa. Da, 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 da. I've got new material. I like how excited she is about it. Oh my goodness, she wants me to spend some money? I guess I'll have to. This piece is on Welkin and Alicia, this piece is purely on Largo. <laughs> And we'll get Largo's passion, too, which... <laughs> that title's a little terrifying. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, we'll be back for sure. Okay, I guess we can stop by the War Symmetry really quickly and see if the old man has anything. I don't think I'm gonna drop any money or experience on it Hello right again, now. Son. I'm sorry. Oh, no, he doesn't have anything. Okay then, well, let's drop by R&D and see if there's anything we can upgrade. Once again, I haven't even done a single skirmish, because it's not highly necessary right now. Plus, the skirmishes right now aren't exactly efficient, as I've been told at the moment. And we've pretty much upgraded everything all the way, minus the blast suits. Uh, which I guess I can upgrade. I guess I could put a little more money into the idol ice. Uh, the mortar's actually proving to be really strong. Uh, I didn't expect it to until I used it that last episode while we were in the desert and there were those, uh, two snipers hiding behind a barricade, and I fired it and they all died. So, I'll make sure to use that a bit more. I, I don't even know if I want to get a radiator upgrade or a spare tread. Right now, they haven't even shot my treads down, 
I am going to get this sight upgrade. Because it increases accuracy. And accuracy is not... Oh, can you not rotate these? And lastly, I think we have a bit of XP left. But I don't know if that's even enough to... Well, that might be enough to get up someone. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Trade all you want! I've got all day! Okay, uh, no one can really benefit from this XP. Except for the engineer, but once again, I'm not highly worried about them. But seeing as what this next level is, I'm gonna actually bump them up and hope we get a... Yes, we got a new potential. Okay, that's just what I wanted, actually. Because this next level is going to be kind of hard on the Eidolvice, if my memory serves me clearly. Once again, last level I know of, so after that it goes blind, and I'm excited to jump into that territory. Because I know a lot of people can, but for me, nothing is more boring than retreading through the same game twice, depending on the game. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I promise after this episode, I'm going to do all the lore reading and stuff. <laughs> um, it's going to be in between this episode and the next series. Yeah, I think that's what I mean to say. <laughs> so, did we, didn't we we already do these? Oh no, these are new cutscenes. Okay. History unfolds. It's just going to be Welkin and uh, whatever his name is, Faldio? Fabio? Amazing, isn't it? I was surprised when I first came here, too. It's... There aren't any windows or skylights in here, but it's still so light. The ruins are made of stone with a high ragnite concentration. It lights itself. It's uncanny. Look at this. Something's written on the wall here. It's an old northern script. It was the dominant writing system in Europa. You still see it on a lot of old monuments. Do you know how to read it, Valdio? Yeah, we just covered it this last year. Let's take a look. It's more or less a recounting of the Darkson calamity as the history books tell it. The Darksons unlocked some secret property of Ragnite and tried to conquer the continent. A hundred cities raised its fell light. 100,000 men and beast therewith. It says this area used to be one of the cities lost in that purge as well. Wait, hold on a second. I like I know racism is a thing and doesn't change for billions of years and whatever and it could it could go on forever if just kind of left untouched. But the way they make this sound is like this ancient civilization fought this other ancient civilization, and now we hate them forever. <laughs> like, it seems like it's been so ridiculously long. So they did use Ragnite. It was in the middle of that destruction that the Valkyrer suddenly came into the picture. Supposedly they rose to face the Darksons, armed with sacred lances, blue with flame. That sounds rad. <laughs> That became the War of the Valkyrie. I had a picture book about that as a girl. But it's fiction, right? Like a fairy tale. Ruins like these dot the European map. Traces of the culture that once ruled the continent. I hope it's not a fairy tale. These people sound awesome. The majority of the anthropological community now agrees that the Valkyrie did exist. Wow. This is so educational. <laughs> The Valkyrie won and rose to power, while the Darksons were scattered across Europa. There are some who worship the Valkyrie as the saviors of Europa even today. Meanwhile, the Darksons got branded with the stigma of their past and were persecuted. With no land of their own, they had to work as itinerant laborers and ragnite miners. Which is why there are so many Darksons still working in the industrial sector today. Isara's dad was an engineer, wasn't he? Anyway, that's enough history for today. Let's keep checking for Imperial tracks. Why are we checking for Imperial tracks inside the ruin in the first place? Or are we just going there on a 
joy trip for Welkin and friends. I've been looking, but I still ain't seen nothing but sand. Those imps got some strange tastes if they're sunning themselves out here. What's got you, Rosie? Ain't like you to be so quiet. You got the runs or something. You're foul, Largo. And I'm just annoyed. Takes some kind of brass to blow up a chunk of turf this big, don't you think? Looks like the dark hairs have been bad news for the rest of us folks since day one. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you think I mean? No archaeological proof exists to support the theory that Darkson's destroyed Barius. Look around. How much more proof do you need? And it's an unfair generalization to assume that all Darkson's cause trouble for others. You saying you don't? Look, it's cause of you people that I, that my whole... Oh, where's that going? All right, time out, you two. <laughs> Largo's like, I can't deal with this shit right now. I'm too busy looking at the dirt. <laughs> you stay out of this, Largo. We're on patrol here. You keep squawking, and we're likely to get sniped. You too, kid. You're worried about snipers hearing you and not seeing you? <laughs> you know Rosie's got a temper on her. She wouldn't go off if you didn't talk back. I don't believe anything I've said is untrue. Stubborn as mules, both of you. It looked like at first Largo was kind of like against uh, the whole Darkson thing. And I bet he still is a little bit, but like he seems to be giving her a uh, much more fair shot than Rosie is. Although Rosie seems to have some deeper hatred going on there. That's a cool looking door. Fonio, what is if that? That is a door. <laughs> it's called the Valkyrian Spiral. Oh my god, it's spiral energy from Gurren Lagan. <laughs> okay, so what is it? I was talking about their power before, remember? The sacred blue flame? The spiral motif on their relief carvings are said to represent inexhaustible power. Oh, I didn't know that. Still, we haven't seen any Imperials here. Not even any signs of entry. I guess it's possible that this wasn't what brought the Empire out here. Well, the others are waiting. Let's go back. Sure, let's go. Huh? Oh, she opened it. What in the... Alicia, what just happened? Keeps going. An underground chamber in the Barius ruins. This is a huge discovery. Should we go in? Do you have to ask? All right, let's take a look. So weird the way that door's designed. You have to like step over the bottom to get inside. Oh, those people are totally still in here, aren't they? What is this place? Oh, we're gonna get shot at in a second. Seems like it goes on forever. That is horrifying. Wow, look at this wall. Amazing. There are engravings everywhere. What do they say, Faldio? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you they're too ancient for me to decipher. Wait, how come the stuff on the outside you can read just fine, the stuff on the inside is like... Whatever. <laughs> Welkin! We're not... alone. Who's there? Nothing. No- oh god. <laughs> well... How surprising to find you here. We don't get many visitors. 
I won't ask how you were able Oh my to god, she's you. carrying a literal really lance. Important. But you defile this sanctum with your presence. Uh, guys, that's Maximilian. Maximilian? Wait, but he's the enemy commander. I mean, like, Hold it right there. Oasia? One more step and I'll shoot you down, I swear I will. Alicia, she's pointing the lance at you. Can we connect one and one now? Lower your weapon. Your lives are worthless to me, but I do not wish to stain this sacred place with blood. Oh, she looks horrifying, but so cool! Why don't we settle it outside? Welkin. Welkin? So... You're the brat who's responsible. My compliments for the vassal bridge and the base in Cloden. You quite impressed Jaeger. He was singing your praises, boy. Silvarium, come. Sir. I wonder what it actually does. Oh, now's our chance to take out their commander. She's right, Faldio. Let's go! Uh, right. Well, that was something I didn't remember at all. <laughs> How did I not remember this cutscene? Holy shit. <laughs> Anyways, time to finally get to the battle, which I cannot guarantee victory on. So, you'll see why I had so much trouble with this. And I actually do have, like, a pre-existing strategy, but I don't know if it works. Because both of my attempts failed utterly. The first attempt... I didn't know what to do, and it, I, the enemy tank shot Welkin, I think, and blew him up because it hit our radiator. The second attempt, I still didn't know what to do, and wound up just dying again due to Welkin. The third attempt, I think I just flat up quit because I didn't understand anything. And then eventually, I think on some forum or something later on, I kind of read about it. I'm like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do, and then I just never played the game again. So, for people looking for me to suffer, uh, I still might. <laughs> it's just I have a bit of an idea of what is going to make me suffer and how to simmy deal with it. The enemy commander Maximilian is making for our base camp above uh, aboard a massive tank. It is imperative that you stop him before he reaches us. Oh wow, there's three camps. At least I think that third one's a camp. Your objective is destruction of that giant of that giant tank. It's equipped with machine guns on both sides, so brace yourself for a merciless reception as you approach. Keep your distance when possible, and use your tank and lancers to take those machine guns out one by one. It also has large caliber cannons at both fore and aft ends that can't be destroyed. Their range is as you can see here. They will fire at anything that stops in the range depicted. Keep your tank and troops clear of them if you want to live. So, yeah, that tank is a lot of trouble. Um, so, here's what we're going to have to do. Um, for this map, it's going to require a bit of traveling, so scouts are going to be very important. Um, Lancers are also going to be very important to take out those side guns that are on the uh, big tank coming in. So, for sure, what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to take... Where is she? Alicia, where'd you go? Alicia, I'm going to take Rosie 2 right behind her. Uh, I want Marina down here. I want another scout. Let's use one we haven't used yet. Who's good in the desert? I know Nancy had bug in her rug. By the way, you guys told me that the reason she kept... Um, the reason she didn't have any grenades is because she kept on dropping her ammo, which I didn't think was literal. I thought it was just a debuff. But no, she was actually dropping her grenades on the ground. So Freeze... Uh, I almost said Frieza. <laughs> Freezia is actually Desert Brat. So we're gonna take her too. And on the side, I also want another Lancer. And over here, we're going to have Largo. So that brings us up to two Lancers. Uh, we need someone to hang out here. Dallas isn't going to be a good idea because she has a desert allergy along with hating men. So she's going to be stuck next to a bunch of men in the desert, which probably couldn't be better and away from Alicia at that. 
So we're going to grab Herbert, because we're definitely going to need repairs on the Idolice. And lastly, I think I'm going to go with another Shock Trooper. So let's go with... Let's go with Eddie. Or Edie. Don't know how to say her name. We'll commence combat now. Stay sharp out there. That tank is our target. We have to stop it. Squad 7, move out! If I beat this on my first try, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> now, dear Galleons, flee or be crushed underfoot of the Batonus. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Is your Welkin, like, talking shit from his tank? He's like, no, it's not. I named it myself, after my father. <laughs> your Grace. I will eliminate the forces east of the temple, then return to provide support. She's so cool! Very well. Though I doubt I shall require your assistance. The Batamis shall rest atop their riven camp before long. Welkin, take a look at that tank! I know, we were briefed on it. Holy... With armor like that... I don't figure my anti-tank lance will do much good. And I don't like the look of that cannon. Standing in front of that thing's a bad idea. Thanks for the tactical insight, Rosie. Let's watch and wait for now. It has to have some kind of weak point. Okay, so we have to make sure to move Welkin this turn, because for whatever ungodly reason, Welkin's radiator is facing directly towards the Batamus, so I don't know why we would do that, but that's fine. So, uh, the way this map is laid out is there's a camp over here. Wait, we actually have control of all three of these camps. What the hell? But our roster's full right now, so that's kind of a weird one. I did not know we started out with three of these camps. Anyways, first thing we have to do. Gonna have to grab Alicia. Alicia. Okay, there we go. So, uh, I'm gonna talk about this map for a second before something starts shooting at me. So, what you're supposed to do is on top of the tank, there's like a bunch of hatches that you can throw grenades into, or at least that's how I did it. I think you may be able to shoot them directly once they pop up, but uh, it's something like these hatches pop up after you. Do some, I don't know. All I know is we have to climb the ladders on that tank and get to the top, which is hard with all those guns on it, which is why we need the Lancers. Also, those guys are going to be kind of tough on the Idolize, so it's a good idea to take them out. There's a sniper right here. But there's also a second part of this map that uh, I think it's the part that causes most people to fail, and it's that by the time they figure out like, what they're actually supposed to do, they realize that it's too late. So these giant things stuck in the ground, these ruin walls, I think you're supposed to shoot them with the Idolize. I don't exactly remember, uh, being honest here. But I think I can actually take a grenade, which I can't do right now, and blow them up, and they actually get in the tank's way. Um, I'm gonna try with a Lancer real quick. Because I don't know how that's gonna go. Actually, before I even do that... I want to see if she has sight on any of these guys up here. Which she does, but she can still miss. I'm more worried about the Lancer than anything else. And somehow that didn't even connect. Okay then. <laughs> Never mind, not trying that again. So what I want to try doing and see is I wonder... If I can just blow these things up with grenades. Because these are like priority, from what I understand. For a second, I thought that was going to just kill Alicia. <laughs> I thought she was just going to die. But that appears that it's not the case. Um, what I probably should do is position her up here, closer to this camp. Because if I can do that, then I can protect the camp. It seems like they might be kind of set up to rush this camp and capture it. 
which I might have to take it back if that's the case. No big deal. Here we go. Okay, so one of the first things I'm definitely gonna have to do is angle the Idlewise a different direction, which I am trying to turn it, but it does not want to. Okay, seriously, Idlewise, what are you doing? So, those are the guns on the front you can't destroy. You can actually take these ones out. Um, but, I was thinking, instead of even doing that, what if I took the mortar? No, I can't even aim that high with the mortar. Okay, I guess we'll just do this then. I want to get rid of that frontal gun. But actually, the frontal gun's the least important one to worry about. What we need to do is get rid of these, because they block the way up to the ladder. But the main point of this turn was to get the radiator away from the tank, because if I got within its path and it shot at me, which is what happened my first two times, actually I think one of the times was a Lancer, um, it's not going to end well. Been waiting here. I'm gonna have Largo actually shoot another one of these. If he can get the shot off. Man, that's even from so close. Okay, that's one. Before it even left the station. And now I'm just gonna hide him back here again. <laughs> I don't know if that thing has its own set of mortars or what's going on there, so... Uh, we're just gonna wait patiently on that one. I'm glad our units start in cover in that they're not just... Okay, I could blow up another one of these walls, the but I actually want to get rid of some of those Lancers up there, if possible. Since for some reason my sniper's freaking out and can't take care of the problem. This is still a long shot, and, I'm st and I still don't have clear vision somehow. How exactly, I don't know, but I don't. This is a really bad shot to take, but it's better than, well, actually... I might just be better off blowing up some of these ruins instead of taking the shot. Because the faster I can block that tank, the better. Oh, good. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> this game's kind of janky at times, I do have to say. Oh shit, that's one I already knocked over. That's completely my fault. Never mind. <laughs> Tactics. Ooh, they can all see her right now. I'm not sure exactly how safe she is. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to do what I said I was going to do before. And I'm going to move her over here. Just to prevent them from capturing it. No other reason. She's not going to be doing anything important, but I just don't want anyone taking this base. Um, what else can we do this turn? I suppose I could attempt to get... I got it. Wow, Edie has a high voice. So yeah, this is Edie. Didn't get to see her. She looks cool, I guess. Um, we can't actually... I just realized I don't think we can actually get to the side of the tank. Nor can I get around Herbert. God damn it, Herbert. You're in the way. You're always in the way. Please neutralize that oversized tank. No, it's too far. And I just kind of wasted my turn, but... Whatever. Actually, I may be able to... Never mind, the Batamiss' invisible hitbox is in the way. Well then. I can't waste grenades either, so... Can we even do any damage to these turrets? I highly doubt it. Nope. Man, I'm wasting a lot of turns this first turn around. <laughs> I am once again still a little worried about all those guys up on that ridge. But I need to get Addie out of here for Edie or whatever she wants to call herself. So let's hope I didn't mess up turn one. My words and no oh, good. He's throwing out orders first. What kind of order is that? Isn't that what they're supposed to do? Why do you need to take up an order to tell them to... Oh, shit. That's a weird name for an order. It's like, all units attack! And it's like, sir, that's what we're supposed to do. He's like, well, uh, attack harder. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so he's actually in a bit of a better position for us right now. To... I don't know if he plans on running over the people in that encampment or what. I don't really know what that shock trooper's doing. So the scout was the one I was kind of worried about because he can get some mileage. I thought he might try to... I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's trying to take that camp down there. Okay, well, luckily I have Alicia positioned close enough that she can prevent that. Well, the Lancers didn't... Oh, they're shooting at Largo. I thought they were shooting at the Idolvice for a second. I'm like, that's not going to do shit. Ooh, Marina, you're so squishy. You're so squishy, and you're in that thing's range now. Next turn, that thing is probably going to blow through the barricade. Yikes. Okay, first thing, Alicia, I'm going to have you take care of this guy down here. And then I'm going to have you blow up the... Uh... Don't even think of dodging. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really strong one. It's always my favorite thing in video games when you have an ability that's called undodgeable blank or something of that sort, and then they dodge it anyway. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do now is... I'm going to have Hector here. Ah, Hector, don't get shot at. There we go. So, is that one knocked over? I can't tell if it's... It looks in the way. I think that's the one you're supposed to see. It's like, oh, that one's in the way. So, now I have to blow up these ones. You're going down. So, now that one is too. Hector, you're kind of in an unsafe spot, but... Whatever. <laughs> so, now it at least has these two walls in front of it, which I think it takes a turn to blow up every wall. So, I'm going to try to do the impossible right now. By impossible, I just mean kind of difficult. Don't! Oh no, she's panicky! Don't panic, it's okay! It's okay. It's okay. So, you're supposed to climb up these ladders on the side. Hmm, the radiator's closed. I don't remember that. I don't know what happens if I leave a unit up here. So, I think what I'm actually supposed to do is I have to shoot the radiator or something to get it to pop open. I don't honestly remember. Nope. Okay, maybe I don't remember this level as well as I thought. Well, maybe I'll just continue shooting at the guns that are all over it. Oh, you know what I think it is now? That my uh, memory serving me correctly and I probably just wasted half my turn, but whatever. Um, what it actually probably is, is I think what the tank is supposed to do is every time it goes to one of these walls, it blows it up and then the radiator pops open, allowing you to throw a grenade inside. That is what it was. Which this. means I basically just wasted this entire turn, but I could have done worse. I really could have. Largo, you're looking a little strapped on the uh, health side of things. I don't know if you'll survive. Yeah, you'll survive another turn. So that's that entire side's defense is blown off. And now instead of having him take cover, I'm going to have him hide behind the Idolize because that's much safer actually, the current moment. Okay, Marina, you're probably just going to get run over by the tank, hands down. Um, well, actually, I may be able to do something, but she's going to get shot at first thing. Oh, yeah. Never mind. She's not getting out. My rifle. I should have just retreated her instead. Oh, well. Hector's also in the way. Hmm, this isn't good. This isn't very good. Or at least you have a mission for you. I know you're not very tanky either, but we gotta save her. I don't know if the tank can actually, like, 
perma kill units or not. Medic! She might need a medic in a second the way this is going. Sit tight. Help's almost there. Please help. Okay, well, she hasn't shot in anything, so we can hope it's a long shot, but we can hope that she can take out these guys. Don't even think of dodging. At least they can't dodge, but you'll have to be really accurate if you want to... Oh, shit! Rosie helped out! She actually did that team attack thing. Hmm. Nice one, Rosie! Although Alicia's probably going to go down next turn. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about, uh, whatever his name Lancer is, too. <laughs> Capturing a camp is for the feeble. <laughs> what does that even mean? What does that mean? The stupidest thing I've ever heard. He's like, capturing a camp is stupid. I'm not going to do it. I'm above that. A needless bother when it can be crushed outright. He's just going to mow our camps down. Keep your head, Lieutenant. That desert is covered by parts of standing ruins. If you shell unstable walls, fragments may fall and block the enemy's tank progress. Did they tell you this before? If they told you this before, once again, I played this in like 2000 whatever, and I probably just skipped all this dialogue, so. Roger that. I'll give it a try. The team east of the temple is in bad shape. Some woman is sending up some major fireworks. At this rate, they'll be forced to withdraw. I understand. We'll try to hold our ground here. All right. Let's slow that behemoth down with as much rubble as we can throw in front of it. Wow. Okay, this never mind. Mostly, this information could save your life. Slowing the Batamus. Standing remnants of the ruins that still dot the desert can be knocked over by mortar or anti-tank lance blast. While a few rocks cannot hope to halt the behemoth, they can at least slow it down. If a tank or the Batamus stands in the location of a wall would fall upon, that wall cannot be knocked over. Act fast. So that's why, oh my goodness, I can't believe I didn't read any of that my first time. I was literally just trying to figure out how it worked. Just with guesswork. I just skipped all that dialogue, I bet. That was forever ago, though, so I'm not gonna blame myself. Did he just do nothing? What is that guy doing? Oh, he's gonna shoot at Hector. He's not even in cover. Oh, Hector, you're okay. Thank goodness, but he might just take another turn and shoot a Hector. Yep. Or not. Oh, he's gonna try and... He's gonna capture that camp. Wow, he's really stretching his CP there. But he got it. That was a... Out of all the things I thought he would do, that was not one of them. Okay, so we still have another turn before he runs into that wall. Uh, in the meantime, I guess... Honestly, all we have to do right now is... First of all, I want to heal Alicia a little bit. Whoops. This place is insane! So, if you point one of these ragnades at someone, will it heal both them and yourself? I still haven't figured that quite out yet, but... Okay, uh, I have to stop here. Because I have to go around the corner to get this guy. Who, for some reason, somehow did not see me. I guess we'll occupy this again, then. The 
It doesn't look like he could probably blow through two of these walls at once, so I think I'm pretty safe here. Uh, Hector still looks best. like he's in a bit of trouble, though. So what I want Hector to do is I want him to... And he missed. I'm not really surprised. I'm just gonna have Hector retreat. And I'm gonna get some more Lancers elsewhere. Because we're gonna need to bring more over here. Watch me dance. I didn't mean to play as her. I guess she can retreat to... Th Actually, no. She can take out that Lancer that's been sitting up on this hill forever. An to because I don't want him, like, shooting the Idlewise in the side for whatever reason. So, with this guy gone, we've taken out every single enemy on the field. Next partner. Who are these guys? Can I even go back there? It looks like there's a huge space back there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So, next turn, I want to make sure I get Hector back. All healed up and nice. Uh, this turn, we're going to focus on just watch this. Hitting the tank where it hurts with Largo. Luckily, we can now go around this side without having to worry about damage. I'm just trying not to waste turns, because that's something I'm really bad about in this game. Is, like, taking up a turn and then having the game be like, No, that doesn't work. Why did you try that? And being like, Oh, well, guess it's not how things work right now. It's kind of a long shot, but being able to take this out would be very nice. Oh shit, he's out of ammo. Well, you know what? I need to move him anyway, because I can get him safely to the spot with cover and heal him with Ragnade. Okay, next, I think we only have, we have three CP left. So what I want to do now is I want to take the Idlevice and re-angle it. Against this wall. Well, not quite, a little further. There we go. Just want to protect its back. Now. Fire! Now. Glad I bought that periscope for the uh, Idlevice. It's going to be very useful. Okay, Rosie's still in cover. I'm not too worried about her. Is there anyone I need currently to just... Okay, Eddie, maybe I'll get you behind the Idlevice or something. Just to be safe. Out there, Move out. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh well, there's only the tank left, so I'm honestly not very worried about the rest of the mission. Now that I actually know what to do with it, that I'm not skipping dialogue. What does that mean? All units attack! Oh wait, it's just me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's what I remember seeing in that little guide or whatever. Uh, that main cannon is lethal. There must be a way to stop that thing. Welks, look at that. What are those? They're sticking up out of the top of the tank. They're radiators. Heat sinks for dissipating the temperature of the Ragnite fuel cell. They must be using them to cool the cannon after firing it. Welks, if we destroy them, it could greatly upset the tank's function and stability. All right, let's try it. We just need to get to those radiators after the cannon fires. They're positioned atop the tank, so ground units will need to climb the ladders. Okay, we've got to take out the guns and get troops onto that tank. 
Okay, so now this has finally happened. This is gonna be a lot easier than I thought. I perhaps last time it was just that I was bad at strategy games, which I, I'm not calling myself good now, but I'm at least better. Because <laughs> uh, back then I didn't really have that much experience with them. Therefore, uh, when it came to doing missions like these, which required a lot of management on um, different resources, like taking care of the guys up on the. God damn it, Idlevice! <laughs> <laughs> I sounded legitimately angry there, but I'm not. <laughs> Entering combat. I'm not upset. Just disappointed. 